Hi there, I'm Amy Cassandra Martinez for Red Carpet Report in Netflix for the premiere of On My Block. Um, okay, so I love the tagline for this show, In Squad We Trust! Yes! yes. Um, if you could have people in your squad, like celebrities, who would they be? Oh my god, that's a great question. What celebrities? Um, Clooney. Oh. George Clooney would be in my squad. He, he's pretty badass. Um, Jodie Foster. Hands down, Jodie Foster. You, very, very strong people with opinions who are great filmmakers. Um, I'd keep my squad pretty tight and small, so I'd go with those two. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. Now, what was it like to work on something where there's so many minorities being represented? Um, because I know some of the cast was saying that all of you guys really work together and yeah. listen to everyone. What was that like? Well, I think for me, being Mexican, I grew up, I was born in Compton, grew up in Linwood. Uh, I'm incredibly proud of the show because the show is a reflection of the way I grew up. Ruby is loosely based on me. Oh. And when you're sitting there and you're watching a show I, I, about people, about people of color, made by people of color, there's an authenticity to it. And I have to give a huge shout out to our showrunner, Lauren Unerich. We created the show with Lauren and Jeremy Half, our writing partner. And from day one, the mandate was always to create opportunity and to be as authentic as possible. And we were fortunate enough to do that with a great supporting team from Netflix. For sure. And, and I love that. I love that because everyone's being showcased. Yes. And it's great because people are listening to these stories now. And they're going to be able to see all of this that a lot of people don't know about. That's like, correct. What's, Absolutely. Like, what's something from your childhood that you think that other people are like, what? <laughs> That's well, crazy. It's, it's, great. You're asking great questions. I, I would say this. Okay, so where I grew up, I grew up in a pretty dangerous neighborhood. But that's not what defined us. What defined us is we had aspirations, we had hope, we had promise. And when people think of a neighborhood like Linwood, where I grew up, or the inner city, they go, oh, it's so scary, it's so dangerous. It is, but we want the same things that kids want in, in, in nice neighborhoods as well. So this show is a slice of that. This show is not just about gang life. It's about kids coping with surviving high school, which is something that's relatable to anybody throughout the world. And I, I love that. I love that so much. Thank you for that. Um, what are you currently binge watching right now? It's obviously not on my blog. Um, what's something I'll tell you what I'm binge watching. The end of the VF and world on Netflix. Yes. Unbelievable. And, and not only that, I went back and watched Ozark again because I loved Ozark so much that I went back to see if I missed a few things. But end of the F and world is unbelievable. It's, yeah, it's out of this world. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yeah. Last question. What do you recommend people eat while watching on my blog? <laughs> Um, okay, so being Mexican, you know what I'm going to say. To me, chips and salsa, no, no, no. I, ideally, my mom's salsa, which is unbelievable. She makes it with the actual molcajete. It's amazing. Um, so I would recommend some chips and salsa. Um, and, you know, for, the, for those of age, I'd recommend a margarita or two. Oh, see, I would love to come over and watch that show with you. Friday, watch there you on, go. Okay, Friday, that's Deal. the watch party. On You're my on. block, on your block. I'm, I'm there you go. I love it. Thank okay. you. Well, thank you. Thank Have fun. You. Great. Thank Take you. care. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to like, subscribe, and comment down below letting us know what are you watching on Netflix.